right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Carney Cast. This this morning we have resident good boy and good guest uh, Keith. He's our second host. Hey. <laughs> and we have exotic German and soft boy special guest, by the way, Don. I'm special. He's a special boy. Hi. And we're we're here. We're gonna be fucking talking about plenty of things and now we're car crashing into our first our first topic of the day well done thank you i expected to fumble this intro but here we are now guys let me ask you a question do you guys have a process just for your everyday life like what is it what does a day what does a day-to-day -day life look like for each each of you guys let's start with don because your wonderful guest. I'm curious. Oh, it's so easy. I wake up, I take a shit, I eat, I go to bed. <laughs> that sounds no. like a great day to day. Like. No, no, no. Um, fucking, I wake up and I go yeah. and I fall back to sleep. Like that happens around five times until I get out of bed. Yeah, you fucking fell asleep before this podcast. Yeah. <laughs> and then um, I don't have breakfast. Can you believe that? I fucking don't. I don't either. Uh, what? Why do you skip lunch? Or sorry, why do you skip breakfast? <laughs> breakfast, the most important <laughs> meal of the day. <laughs> um, the most important meat of the day? Yeah. No, uh, I'm lazy. Yeah, honestly, I don't even eat breakfast that much. The honest. only time I would ever get breakfast is I have money and I'll get a fucking... McMuffin. Wait, can I swear? Yeah. Yeah, fucking swear. And you swore dude. in like swear. the first sentence. You're good. You're fine. Oh, yeah. I forgot he did. <laughs> Welcome, McFuckers. Welcome <laughs> to the <laughs> Carnival or Carnival Podcast. This incredible, shitty podcast. Yeah, I know. <laughs> dude, I, <laughs> by the way, I just want to mention something quickly. Uh, yeah. we've, been, we've been actually getting uh, fucking a lot of people asking about whether or not we're the like the carnival like the coachella party yeah well, what <laughs> yeah so there's a there's a lore behind this there's a coachella after party um at the time of recording coachella's on right now but there's an after party called neon carnival and our mm -hmm. branding is the neon carnival we've been given a cease and desist by the guy who runs the party but jokes on him we have a the in front of our name so technically he can't do anything but um on instagram him. People keep tagging us in their near and their Coachella pics instead of the actual party's Instagram, and it's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> so I just started responding to them, say like, tell them you got the wrong people, and it's just like middle-aged white women talking about them going to Coachella, having a great time. It's awesome. Middle-aged white women going to Coachella. That's fucking. It's fucking sad. That's sad. <laughs> Imagine being a soccer mom, going with your little your little baby boy. Imagine going to like, Coachella. How sad is that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I actually don't even know what Coachella is. Isn't it a music party. festival type thing? It's a really expensive music festival. Yeah. Basically, well, yeah, I guess a lot of people just go to listen to, like, famous musicians <laughs> and do drugs, pretty much, so... <laughs> People listen to it, the Evanescence. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of Evanescence while doing drugs. <laughs> Dude, we should all go one day. We should. I, we wanted, should I wanted to um, see if we can get tickets to the after party. See if we can go to the Neon <laughs> Carnival. <laughs> Neon <laughs> Carnival at the Neon Carnival. <laughs> Guys, if you, if you went to the after party, would you just barge in and say, The after party has arrived. It's us. The I'll make sure to come with a bunch in. of badges and stickers and stuff and... Real assholes just about stick, it. Just stick pins on people. Be fucking stick pins on people drunk before we get there. <laughs> yeah, you, you you try. You have those like little glow stick things that you like snap in half, and then you like just shove them start in people's it. pocket. Yeah, we start chucking them at people, throwing them, throwing at their heads. Snap the glow stick in half and put all the glowy liquid on people when they're walking by. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. I can see it now. Honestly, I can see us doing something shitty like that. Guys, I would never. What? We're getting off track here. We haven't discussed okay. what I do on my daily life yet. Oh my god. What do you, you do go to Coachella? Daily life besides shitting? Yeah, I go to, go to Coachella, Coachella and then I go to the Neon Carnival. <laughs> Dude, why'd you come to our place? Yeah, that's what I fucking thought. Yeah, pussy. <laughs> 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 that what's that? What's it? To process. <laughs> <laughs> what's the day to day life look for you then, huh? Fucking give us the in depth. Give us the behind the scenes that no one else has gotten. Wait, me or Keith? You? Well, oh. fuck Keith. I already know everything about him. 
I, I mean, the viewers might not. They, may, they might think Kiva's interesting or funny. <laughs> Guys, comment down below. Do you think Kiva's interesting? I fucking comment thought down below not. If you want to see Kiva being <laughs> shot out of a cannon. I do. Stop bullying me, guys, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> All of my ideas involve torturing Keith. I get it. I don't have enough Twitter followers to be cool, okay, guys? Sorry. Jeez. You're not cool. I'm just. Make you. sure to follow me on Twitter, guys. I'm almost at 200 no. followers on Twitter. Almost. Keith is cool, though. I love him. He's a sweet He's boy. being paid Keith to say is. that. Don't listen to him. Keith is a friend of the Evanescence. <gasps> Yes, it's true. He is. I'm part of their He's fan known. club. I'm the captain of their fan club, actually. I'll have you fucking know. <laughs> Guys. Yeah. Car crash back into fucking day-to-day -day life. Quickly, before I forget. Uh, um, uh, uh, I'll have lunch. Uh, bro, uh, I'll work for the fucking rest of the day. And then... <laughs> what do you work? What do you do? How do you do oh, it? Oh, 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 uh... Oh fuck! I'm a fucking illustrator, and I draw shit, and I'm. Uh, you draw hand titties? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you uh? Do you do you work for someone? Do you? Yeah, uh... I do work for someone. I work for my boys up in heaven. Uh, Super Mega, bless their hearts. So you're free, right? You don't have. You're not being hired by anybody, right? Can we? They're can heaven, we poach you? Fine. Uh, can we poach they're you? They're in heaven, we... but they're still strict. <laughs> can we? Can we hire you? Uh, you can... You can look at me. Naked? You heard it here first, folks. We're, we we can look at Don. Maybe one day we'll go to heaven. <laughs> together. <laughs> and just shoot, shoot me out of a cannon into heaven. Get the fast track. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I love that. I'll, I'll, um, I'll cheat. I'll backwards long jump to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> like Mario? Yeah. Just like Mario. <laughs> Just fucking backward long jump. Yeah. <laughs> you know the fucking golden staircase to heaven. I actually is that is that like a I know the song Star Stairway to Heaven. Is that like the same this thing? Is, no, like every fucking depiction of like going to heaven I've seen, it's just oh, like you're right. there's a either like a golden staircase or an escalator. I was thinking of an, it's escalator. Always an escalator. But never a ramp. No, Why not a ramp? People, who, wheelchairs? people who have wheelchairs don't get to go to heaven, Andy, don't you know? Fun, it says right in the Bible. Fun fact. fun fact, after you die, you're still in the wheelchair. That's forever. <laughs> That's horrible. Uh, That's horrible. I thought about that. Like, if you die, does your body, like, stay the same as when you died? Or is it like when you were like, in your like peak? If, like, if like some besides, guy got, like, cut you, in if half. You died and you like, if you died and you suddenly have to use of your legs again, like, you wouldn't know how to fucking walk. Just flop her like, what if you got mangled? Like, what if you got mangled in a car crash? Like, do you, do you, are you just mangled in heaven? Yeah. <laughs> There's a bunch of guys walking around, like, with limbs missing and, like, knot in your stomach. guts pouring out of them. It's just, just normal. That's how it is. God's an asshole. Did you guys know that? The employees in heaven will yell at you for, like, spilling on the fucking floor. <laughs> they get mad at you. They get clean it up. They're like, oh, fuck off, man. Come on. <laughs> guys. It's on topic, but do you guys believe in the Lord? Do you guys like God? What do you think of him? Um, I've been through several <laughs> religions throughout my life. Is that real? What a, why don't you tell us a couple? Um, well, I've only been through two main religions, but I'm also like... My family is also part of a third religion that I'm not really part of, but I know like what it's about and how like things go on about it. Um, I was raised um, evangelist. But oh, okay. I also went to a Catholic uh, kindergarten. Kindergarten? Okay. And, yeah, a Catholic kindergarten. Because over here in Europe, um, religion and school don't really separate. Like in the mm. States, like if you go to school here in middle school, you still have like um, your religious studies. Yeah. That you have to partake. Like, How's that um, like? We're divided in two groups mainly. Well, three groups. One is evangelist and one is Catholic. Then there's a third group that's for like all the miscellaneous religion, like, you know, the Jews, the Muslim. <laughs> all the miscellaneous Jews, religions. <laughs> all those other ones that people don't really care yeah, about. Yeah, all those other ones. <laughs> and then um, the third religion, I'm not, I'm not really part of it, but my family is, like my extended family. Um, they're Muslim. Hmm. Oh, cool. Yeah, and I know a lot about them, and Muslim is 
how should I say, it's more dedication than I'm willing to put in. Right. No, I, yeah, I, I know I have a cousin who's who's Muslim. Uh, yeah. I don't I don't think they are anymore. I think they they're like, oh, it's too much work. I don't want to. It's it's a lot of work. It. It's a lot of dedication. Like I respect them for that, but at the same time, I'm like, the same for me. I'm not, not, I'm not about to. I'm not about to sit on my knees for the next five hours. Right. Yeah. They. I mean, I've seen that. I've I've been to like, been to the, the church. If I might, I've been to their house. If I might interject, they're called, they're called Big House of um, of a law. The big guy. Big House of the Big, big, big Guy. <laughs> big Guy Allah. Mm-hmm. Uh, can we say that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys think uh, God's just a big ass fucking hand? He just comes out of yes, the sky. Yes. There's nothing good time. He's like master. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he comes down with a big hammer. Like it's just it's just a big hammer and fucking <laughs> kill people. God He's, is a fucking claw. Um, claw from the claw machines at the arcade. He, <laughs> yeah. He picks you up and drops you at heaven. Picks you up and you're a fucking green three eyed alien. <laughs> That squeaks. That's fucking. That's like. Toy Story. That's cool. Toy you didn't Story. know that, Andy. <laughs> you didn't know I that. Forgot. I forgot. I forgot it was Toy Story. I was trying to. I, I was trying to process it. Guys, don't fucking embarrass me in front of ten people. <laughs> <laughs> Three of which are me. <laughs> All you, dude. It's you and God, but two other times. God and Jesus. The law. <laughs> Do you guys know that God's probably or Jesus is probably gay? No, I fucking I just uh, explain. Wait, hold on. <laughs> explain <laughs> how is Jesus probably, probably gay? Can you? <laughs> can you? <laughs> probably, yeah, probably this sounds like a fucking TV sitcom. Like fucking, it's God with his gay son Jesus and their cousin Allah, <laughs> or like fucking uncle. Yeah, the uncle Allah. <laughs> yeah, uncle Allah, and he does fucking like. <laughs> He's like a fucking. He works for TV and shit. Dude, he's a fucking just a wacky family sitcom. Just Jesus and the boys. <laughs> Jesus and the Do boys. Wacky, <laughs> doing wacky, crazy things on their daily basis. That's the name of the show. Jesus and the boys. <laughs> oh, dude, he's fucking just performing miracles. It's just like, oh, crazy Jesus, fucking at it again. Oh, look at J Man. He's bringing dead people back to life. Jesus, what did I tell you about giving out miracles? <laughs> Oh, look at Jesus. Look at J-Man being hung on the cross. <laughs> oh, silly Jesus. Did you get crucified again? Oh, well, you. The romance and intrigue between him and Judas. Is it going to happen? Are, is Jesus really gay? The big payoff, Judas kisses Jesus, but Jesus like turns his face so that he kisses his lips instead. It's a little trick. <gasps> oh, that's a cute little moment. That's a cute, that's a cute <laughs> moment. That's Guys, th- I think we're going to hell. <laughs> Guys, remember the sentimental episode where Jesus tells his dad, God, that he's gay? And it goes, aww. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. And, that was a good episode. And God just like, I know. I'm God. I know everything. I'm God. I fucking I know. Made, I made you. You're perfect. <laughs> I'm, I willed you into existence, okay? Like, fuck, dude. And then he gets swallowed by a big fish, and then he dies. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, that's fucking... Fucking, what's his name? Jonah. It's the fucking... Jonah and the whale. Yeah, um, I hey, thought Jesus. Jesus, Jesus ain't fish. never seen a wheel. <laughs> Guys, I haven't read the Bible. Jesus meets the Veggie Tales in a crossover long. episode. Oh God! You like Veggie Tales? Captain Cucumber. I've never seen Veggie Tales. I watched a lot. Yeah, I've never seen Veggie Tales. I grew up religious too as a kid, so I watched a lot of Veggie Tales. Like, I think it's an American thing though, because it's like it's an American fucking thing. stupid, um, honestly. Yeah, is it? We didn't have Veggie Tales. We had it's, like yeah, it's super religious, dude. Oh, what, what do we have? We didn't have any, like, Christian TV shows. We had Jesus Christian and the Boys, books. guys. Come on. Jesus, Jesus and the Boys. And the boys. <laughs> Jesus That's our new boys. pitch. We gotta go to fucking uh, Adult Swim or Nickelodeon. We gotta pitch we're it gonna to Warner, them. <laughs> we're gonna Warner Brothers. Fuck no, that. We're, no gonna, we're gonna go to PBS. P- TV- PBS? Is it yeah. PBS? It's PBS. PBS, dude. It's whatever. <laughs> Fuck it. They'll like our show, probably. We'll go to AMC, they'll feature it next. Like, we'll do we'll a crossover. We'll get a fucking Golden Globe FX. for Jesus and the Boys for fucking artistic achievement. No, no, no. This is a this is a Comedy Central show. Well, they have to do crossovers, so, like, what would be a good one? Like, Walking South Dead? South Park. South Park? Oh, South Park? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Get a Walking Dead. Jesus and the boys in South Kirk. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be perfect. I mean, we technically the canon's there. The Jesus show. is a character in South Park, so like, yeah, it's canon. Same with fucking Family Guy. But Family Guy's so Fox. Easy. We'd be so easy to do a Family Guy and fucking Jesus. You know what's funny? Crossover. Fucking. Everyone is like going nuts about how The Simpsons is like part of Disney now, but same goes oh, for yeah. Family Guy, but no one cares about it. That's that no fucking one cares about that was <laughs> Nobody does care about Family Guy, but The Simpsons is like a staple, right? Yeah. And they always like made fun of Disney, right? Oh, they I'm made fun sure. of I've Fox too. Simpsons. Simpsons hates everybody. Yeah. Doesn't like Family Guy also hate everybody. Family like, Guy made a ton of fucking like Holocaust jokes with Mickey Mouse or some shit. <laughs> that probably didn't fucking, age very well. I remember that one episode where like Mickey like kills Fivo from Fivo's Big Adventure or some shit, and he goes, "Ha ha! You screw you, Jew Mouse." <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Family Guy can be funny sometimes. Family Guy is a weird thing where everyone like it has its moments, you know. It's yeah. Like most of the time, it's just not funny. But like when it does, it is funny. It just catches you off guard, and you're like, "Wow, that's really funny." There are some. I'm, I have to admit. Um, yeah. There are some funny moments in Family Guy. I have oh, to there admit, are, for but sure. not in the newer episodes. Like the earlier episodes, I there's one joke that still fucking gets me. It's in season I think two or one, where mm -hmm. Peter like. Um, has to like do has to take make a decision, and he gets this little shoulder angel, shoulder devil. Like the shoulder devil like pops up, and the shoulder oh, angel right. didn't. And he goes, "Hey, what happened to the other guy?" And he's fucking stuck in traffic. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that episode. Yeah, That's and then good. they brought it up again, where like the angel has another shoulder angel, and he's also stuck in traffic, but just smaller. <laughs> I remember that too. That was good. That was good. See, some of the some of the fucking jokes are actually funny. I'm, just I'm like, okay with season two. It just later on, like it just got shittier. Like Seth MacFarlane. Just it's not shittier. It's just heartless. Like there's no soul behind it. It's like, he used, oh, let's just let's just explain the joke. That's how that's how funny it is. Because he used all his jokes on a thousand ways to die in the West, guys. A thousand he ways to tell a joke. <laughs> a thousand ways to fucking kill a joke honestly <laughs> a thousand ways to say to, to tell the same joke <laughs> oh well Wes is crazy everyone's gonna die and everyone did die better not get no, fucking no. leukemia or <laughs> family guyitis family guyitis I actually yeah. got super sick of family guy when I when I moved out because my roommate would always watch it and it would always be in the background and it would just fucking be him like fucking slapping his knees like laughing hysterically <laughs> <laughs> like, fucking, like like some sort of fucking scene from a horror movie where you like you're you're in your room all alone and you suddenly hear <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's literally it's, no it was like right next to me like right behind me like his, the couch was right next to me and he would be fucking he'd burst out laughing at some stupid fucking oh, he game. like creeps up behind you and just starts laughing and slapping his knees violently <laughs> Come on, Andy. Isn't it funny? He would, uh, he would be, he was the kind of guy who would, like, get high and then just watch Family Guy and just fucking burst out laughing at everything. And it would, every night, man, I swear to God, I got so sick of Family Guy. And I, and I, I just fucking... Did you, you did no you write a letter to Seth MacFarlane and say, hey, stop making your show so funny, and that's why the show isn't funny I wrote, anymore? <laughs> I, wrote, <laughs> I wrote a mean email. <laughs> You get really mad at him. Guys, wait, guys, I have to say something first. I have to say something yeah. to the viewers of this podcast. Yeah. This episode of Neon Circus has been sponsored by Family Guy. Don't tell anybody, but yes, it's true. Seth so MacFarlane slid us a 20 under the table and he said, hey. Speak good about our show, he gave us please. A, he gave us a little circus bag of peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> I sent him the main email. He, he wrote back. He's like, guys, like, man, I know, I know you hate Family Guy. It's fine, but... Pretend you don't for just, just a please. second. Just please, you just pretend you don't. We need this. I, I fucking wrote him a joke once and he put it in the show. What was the joke? The joke is, uh, guess what? Yeah? Chicken butt. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I remember, I I remember that joke. I that joke, but they fucking put it in the show. I'm not kidding. Guess, uh, you guys think the fucking, the one where Peter Griffin holds his knee in pain is funny? It's a really funny oh, joke. Like, that's the one thing I hate about early Family Guy, where they just like make something go for uncomfortably long, and that's the joke. 
like the Conway Twitty, the fucking uh, the bird is the word, all that shit. Peanut butter jelly time, remember that one? Yeah. <laughs> remember oh that joke? <laughs> you guys ever just remember that meme in general? Yeah. Just like the fucking, like it was like Rick Rolling, except that fucking it was just everywhere. Yeah. Rick Rolling was like a that joke. Shit. You just show people peanut butter jelly time and laugh at it. That was the wasn't even like trying to like intentionally upset someone or trick them. It's just like here's a, here's a banana. Yeah, that guys, was bring the grass. Guys, let's bring back peanut butter jelly time. I think it's time. I think it's time we bring it back. You guys remember it from heart? Bring... Can we sing it? Wait, okay, I got a question. What the fuck does a banana have to do with peanut butter jelly? Pe you put bananas and peanut butter in a sandwich. I've done that. that. That's not a peanut butter and sandwich, jelly sandwich. That's it's a peanut, peanut butter, butter and banana, banana jelly, sandwich. jelly sandwich. That's a fucking a whole different thing. That's like a fucking Elvis shit. Why are you trying to justify this fucking song being sung by a banana? It's like beyond reasoning at this point. <laughs> But it's it's full of love. You can tell someone made it and they just Died. really put their heart into it. You know what has hearts in it? Fast food. Do you like fast food? Wow, that was horrible. <laughs> that was <laughs> fucking dog shit. <laughs> I was thinking about a way to fucking transition it, but you just you fucking did it for me. See, it was I was going to say, you know, speaking of food, but then you just started talking about heart in it. And I'm like, well, I can't say... Just fucking, just, what is your Speaking favorite fast food, food chain? Do you guys like fast food? Like McDonald's, Domino's, and Burger King? I don't like any well, of those. Well, do you? Actually, I like Domino's, it's okay. Domino's is alright. The, the good thing about Domino's is it's fucking cheap. That's, yeah, that's exactly why it's good. <laughs> the only good thing about Domino's is that I don't eat it. The good thing about Burger so. King is that it's cheap. My main question is like, about fast food, because we got two exotic people. We got a vegan, and we got a... A non-American here, a European. What's fast food racist. like in Europe? It's not fast. <laughs> <laughs> it's What's not, not fast, fast about it? Um, I waited forty minutes for a fucking burger. Oh, Did they shit. kill the cow in the back and like turn it into fucking meat for you? No, that's a that's I guess that's the one good thing is that everything is made up to order, even if it's at a McDonald's. That's nice. Or Burger King. That's really nice. Like, there's never a cold burger. Every time I had a meal, it's always hot. Too hot. Burn your mouth. <laughs> fucking piping hot, dude. Yeah, I actually burned my mouth once when I ate it. It's so sad. I mean, that's a that's a good problem to have, I guess. Is it yeah. though? Your mouth hurts. It's always yeah, the fries I mean, that are super hot because I always make the fries fresh. No matter what. You get a little grease on your fingers and you go, ah, ooh. <laughs> I fucking bite into it and it squirts oil into my eye. <laughs> <laughs> does it feel like fast food when you eat it? <clears throat> I mean, like, yeah. Is, it, is there more quality? Okay. Is it like, have you, like, compared to America, is it like, is there more quality to it or? I'm gonna say this American fast food is way tastier. It's and cheaper. Shit. I think the difference is like every country, at least like, from what I've heard is that fast food restaurants change their recipes in different countries based on yeah. like the taste of the country. So like American fast food is like way more salt and way more sugar than everywhere else. And then in Canada, mm -hmm. like it's a little less salt and a little sweeter. There's just a bunch of weird shit. They just change it everywhere. Yeah. We have Honestly, in Europe, we have super strict like food regulations. Yeah, we do too. Like what? Like, well, like what though? Like, like um, you can't <clears throat> you can't go out past ten. Can't eat. There's like a certain amount of like additives and preservatives that you can't have in the food, like corn syrup and stuff. No, you can't have corn syrup, but like other additives. I forgot the name. Some sort of like fucking, just some chemical shit. Okay, well, <clears throat> guys, put in the comments if you know what we're talking about. You guys eat chemicals? <laughs> Leave a comment below if you eat chemicals. Guys, put in the comment what your favorite fast food is to shove up your fucking mouth. Shove up your mouth. Guys, eh, what's your favorite fast food chain? Any answer you put is wrong. All right, let's continue. What is your favorite fast food restaurant? Me? Uh, oh, yeah, God. Actually, no, both of you fuckers. I'm not asking one of you. I'm asking both of you. Why don't you answer it for once, you fucking pansy? You didn't even... Why are you... Yeah, why are you asking all the questions? Goddamn. Because oh. I fucking... I, I introduced the fucking podcast. I don't podcast. give a shit, okay? I'm... I don't give a fucking rat stick, all right? Okay. Yo, let me ask you something. What's your favorite fast food place? Huh? How do you like it? Oh, fuck. Fuck, I'm gonna tell my mama on you one day, I swear <laughs> to god. One day. <laughs> fucking tired of you. Get the courage. 
<laughs> would I have the courage to speak to my mom again in heaven? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, my favorite fast food place, at least before before I was yeah. a vagone, it was Burger King. Because they're just better. Alright, Wendy's is too expensive in my opinion. They're too... They're getting on their high horse a little bit now. They're like, oh, we're fucking fancy. So is a &W. They're like, let's charge fucking $15. Dude. $15 for a combo meal, dude. I, Are you fucking stupid? I worked at a and and the food's shit there. Like, I don't know where the money's going, but it's not into the food. That's all I gotta say. It's not very good. I've only I've only had a and as a kid, but that was fucking back in, like, Malaysia. Oh shit. A and W Malaysia of all the places to get A and W. Oh. It's surprisingly popular. Same with fucking KFC is fucking big in Asia. Oh, huge, yeah. It's huge. Really? It's from an ad campaign yeah. about around Christmas where they're like, KFC is good for Christmas. No, no, that's only Japan. That's only Japan, but like places like Malaysia have like huge KFC places. And the thing is they don't even serve mashed potatoes. They serve something else as a side. Wait, you have mashed potatoes really? as a side of KFC? No, we don't. Oh, in Canada a, we do. That's an American thing. Oh, we. Yeah. I've never seen a mashed potatoes at a at a, at a KFC. I before. have. When I went to the states, they got fuck. They got a <laughs> fucking thing called Famous Bowl. It's fucking heaven. I am so fucking upset that we don't have a Famous Bowl. What is it exactly? A Famous Bowl is like a, a little bucket. No. A little bowl of mashed potatoes, uh, KFC brand gravy. Popcorn chicken and shredded cheese and corn. Oh, I've had that before. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. That's good. That's a famous it's bowl, so and it's famously delicious. You feel like you're like 20 pounds heavier after you eat it, but you're still okay with it because it tasted delicious. It's good. I feel like 20 pounds after eating anything. Do you really? Yeah. Do you? They actually have uh, like rice and beans and stuff at KFC in Ecuador. That's what I'm. Yeah, that's what I meant. Like in Malaysia, instead of having like you know potatoes as a side, you get a little like bowl of rice that's pretty cool i guess like not know, even a it's bowl just... it's like a little bun of rice you can hold in your hand <laughs> is it really yeah i've always seen it i'm like oh that sounds gross i don't want that like you don't eat it with a spoon or a fork you like you hold it in your hand like a burger but it's just rice and you eat it with your chicken because rice and chicken is fucking great oh shit rice and chicken is delicious i don't eat chicken but i mean i you yeah. eat vegan chicken andy Veg I eat vegan chicken. Vegan. <laughs> you can eat rice and rice. Vegan rice. <laughs> vegan rice. Yeah. It's like put the <laughs> rice into a ball, deep fry it, and it's like fried chicken. There you go. Guys, okay, the only thing I can eat consistently as a vegan is fucking air. <laughs> Just the oxygen. Fucking what about ice and water? I don't drink. I don't eat ice. It's not vegan. <laughs> ice isn't vegan. It's not vegan. It's not good enough. <laughs> I, eating ice was always weird to me. It always fucking feels weird in my teeth. Like I know yeah, people I like crunch on and shit, but I hate that. I have sensitive teeth, it. so it's like suffering, but I still do it anyway. <laughs> That's Man, what I hate you're, about it. You're different. Yeah. You're fucked up. Yeah, I mean, you ain't wrong with that one. Don, what's your favorite fast food restaurant? Uh, I don't know <clears throat> if I have a favorite. I guess it's Smashburger. Smashburger. But the good. thing I'm craving the most is fucking Taco Bell. I used to love Taco Bell. Taco Bell used to be my favorite, and then uh, I can't eat anymore because it gives me the shits. So. Well, yeah, but that's still that's like it's kind of worth it. The hard because fucking no the liquidy dude, shit, Sandy. So that's sick, what you get from Taco I'm so Bell. I'm sick and tired of authentic uh, Mexican food. I want shitty American cheese filled, grease filled Mexican food. Well. Yeah, Taco Bell's probably the place for that, yeah. <laughs> it's exactly yeah. the place for that. That's what I want. I want to have a fucking colonoscopy after I eat this. <laughs> Dude, my fucking- my guts are like, just liquid anyway, just on a daily basis. You know- I- yeah. I fucking shit myself a lot, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it's a problem. Sometimes I wake up with just a lot of shit in my ass, I don't know what happened. It's like just sitting in hey. your ass, just leaking out like sewage, or...? No, it's... I have a question for you guys. Okay. Yeah. What's like the fanciest fast food place you've been to? Oh. Uh, oh. Like, what do you mean by fancy fast food? Like, they serve like fast food items, but it's fancy? Like, it's, it's a fast food chain, but like, it's more expensive, the quality of the food is better. Like, what's the fanciest you've been to, like, in your opinion? Probably... Um... 
Steak and Shake was good, but it wasn't very fancy. I'd say like Chipotle, probably. They're really expensive. Oh, damn. Chipotle, yeah, fancy. really? Honestly, a and W. That's probably like. I mean, it's pretty basic, but I don't really eat a lot of fast food chains. But I, they I do have a, a vegan lot. burger. Actually, you know what? Um, I lost my train of thought. I don't know. American places. The though. last time, the last time I went to an a and was after I I sold my car and I just had a burger because uh, it was like a fucking three hour walk back. I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna get some a and W. Actually, and they only gave me ninety bucks for my car. <laughs> what? And it was, I paid 900 for the car and I fucking I sold it. You got fucking 10%. Yeah, I got nothing. Because well, you, you sold it for scrap metal, right? Yeah. 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 Oh, okay, the next, that makes uh, sense. The next, I think the next two days after, this, this guy wanted me to buy, wanted to buy it for like 600 bucks. That happened to me, dude. I sold a phone for like 500 and then the, like two days after I sold it, some guy's like, will you take 700 for it? I'm like, I would. But I, I can't. <laughs> I was tempted to like go back and like never, steal the phone back from the person I sold it to. Like fuck. I never got. I never sold anything, but I got cheated out of a trade. Trading oh. Yu-Gi-Oh cards? Uh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> no, tell us how. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, so I was in uh second grade. Yeah. And I had my Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Oh my god! Is it really fucking Yu-Gi-Oh cards? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then like. Uh, this little kid came up to me. This little shithead boy named uh, Daniel. Fucking hate him. Daniel? And, <clears throat> yeah. And um, he he saw me with my yogurt during lunch, and he said, "Hey, I'll give you. Uh, I want. Can I have a yogurt?" And I'm like, "No, this is my yogurt." And he's like, "I'll give you. I'll give you a dark magician tomorrow if you give me a yogurt today." And then, mm -hmm. I would gladly have a yogurt today. No, wait, that's the fucking pop, I think. I forgot how it goes. <laughs> but, like, <laughs> fucking, I gave him my yogurt, anticipating the tasty treat that is the Dark Magician. And then the next day, he goes, I didn't say that. I, uh, I don't have him. I don't have a Dark Magician. And I'm fucking upset that he stole my yogurt. Mm -hmm. What a fucking asshole. That's a sad yeah. story, dude. What would you say to him if you saw him today? Uh, where's my fucking dark magician? <laughs> <laughs> you know, actually, I actually cried once because uh, I I dueled uh, for a deck, and I lost my deck, and I started crying, and I went to the teacher. You got it back, didn't you? Oh you my God. Fucking... I did get it back. <laughs> I was one of those kids. I was one of those kids. I was. I had the same story. Like I was playing with my friend, and we always played, and we played fucking. We decided to play Diamond City Rules, which is basically the loser has to give their most powerful uh, card to the to the winner. It's always fucked up. <clears throat> and like, I won, so he had to give me his fucking blue eyes white dragon. Ooh. And he started crying, and he ran to his mom. Wow, it's like you fucking stole everything from him. Which he's... sucks, because he's the one who fucking suggested it. A little bit. It always is. There's people who, they get, they're like, oh yeah, I'm gonna gamble, like, super high stakes. And then they fucking <laughs> fail, and then they cry about it. I'm like, no one- It's funny that I- <laughs> No, sorry, go ahead. I was gonna say, like, I'm sorry, like, I, I say that, like, I say that he's a little bitch, but I fucking do the exact <laughs> same thing. I never gambled. I was one of those kids. I never gambled my cards, I was too scared of losing them. Because I had some really good ones. Now they, they collect yeah. dust in my in my closet, in a big box of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I have my no, little tiny box. They sit there and- You kiss them goodnight? Waiting, wait, waiting for the day they can send some of the shadow ones. Yeah, they, I kiss them goodnight. <laughs> They literally are right on my bedside, like, they're, they're just- Your most prized possession, if someone breaks into the house, you pull your Yu-Gi-Oh <laughs> deck and like, Hey bitch, you're going to the Shadow Realm tonight! You, well, some people have guns on their pillows, I have my fucking trap cards ready, and <laughs> ready to go. <sighs> Guys, let me ask you. Since we're- now we're car- we're car crashing, fucking hard- hard right, there's an old lady in the way, <sighs> crashing to the next set. She went under, she's not coming back. She's, she's oh, gone. oh, oh, I know what she's gonna, I know what she's gonna do. What? She fucking, um, <clears throat> before, before you crash into her, she's asking, what are some weird commission stories that you guys have? <laughs> and you just run her down. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking kill her? <laughs> well. And then I decided not to kill her. No, and then. But then you did. Here she is in the podcast right now. <laughs> hey there, boys. 
what are, you, what are some weird and funny commission stories you got from working as an artist and freelancers? You should be dead! Oh, it makes me uncomfortable. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll go home now. <laughs> get, get out of you, fucking old lady. Get out of you, bitch. Oh. You fucking dumbass. Oh, oh please. <laughs> don't hit me. Get, get out of here, old lady. Get out of here. <laughs> you fucking bitch. Shithead. You dumb slut. Well, I'll start. I got a story. It's short too. Uh, I used yeah. to do freelance editing um, for like YouTube game, gaming boys, uh, and I was doing one. I was just I had like posted online, and then one guy asked, "Hey, can you do a video for free?" And already I'm like, "No." And he's like, "Oh, come on! I really need you to do this video for me. Like, I'll pay you after it's done." I'm like, "No." And then he kept harassing me, so I just asked out of curiosity, "What is it for?" Uh, he wanted me to edit a video for him for a video editing contest in which if he was to win, he would give me the money from the winning the contest. Fucking idiot. That was the, wow. so it was, and it was this little 12 year old boy and it was those, you know that game where you're a ball and you swallow all their balls like itch.io? That was the yeah. fucking, he wanted a montage of that for a video editing contest. I just sat there and I'm like, I was oh just baffled. God. I'm like, you're an idiot, aren't you? And he got mad at me. And uh, and he blocked me on Twitter, and I was like, okay, sorry. What a good guy, dumbass. That was the funny, weird story. What about you? They never asked you to draw yeah. yourself having sex with a horse. Yeah, Andy. What about you? What about me? Uh, one time, this uh, unknown, unnamed YouTuber asked asked for a commission, and I I did a sketch, and they're like, yeah, no, I'm sorry. Funny guys, yeah. Let's clap it up, yeah. That was me, actually. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was it was Keith actually. So I didn't <laughs> want to name him because I didn't want him to feel bad. Was, can you draw me naked with a big penis? And he drew me with a medium-sized penis. I'm like, nah, that's not gonna cut it. It's not my. Find it's someone not else. <laughs> what about you? Yeah, I heard you draw or something. Uh, do you, uh, do you, I do you don't have anything? a weird commission story. Really? You just you just clear cut. No, just I, just, I just fucking. I get. Oh, um. Let me think. I do have some weird people, but I can't remember the whole like story. That was a weird one, I guess. If we get asked um, to draw something really weird, I guess is another. Oh God, so much. <laughs> <laughs> can you say? Can you say what the weirdest one was? Yeah, because I don't give a shit. Um, oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the weirdest one I fucking had to draw was fucking um. This guy wanted me to draw is like Elf OC and shit. <laughs> I'm like, okay, that's fine. And then he showed me a picture. And it's like, it's just the drawing he gave me. The girl looked like she had fucking jaundice and she was dead. <laughs> That's what it looked like. She was fucking green and yellow and really skinny. And she looked like leather. And then he sent me pose references like, oh yeah, by the way, can you draw her in this pose? And then he just sent me naked pictures of himself. What? <laughs> and then fucking fishnet. Wait, you're like, lying. Like no underwear, just fishnet. That's never- are you- are you serious? I'm serious, yeah. He sent me those pictures as reference. Did you draw it? No. Oh. What the oh. fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the, Jesus. I fucking- I fucking rolled back to him when I said, Well, it's really impressive, but I'm not gonna take this commission. <laughs> it's impressive? Dude, that fucking- that- I mean, there's something that's impressive about this. <laughs> Jesus, I- I mean, honestly, I wouldn't- I wouldn't have guessed. I mean, you wouldn't. I mean, who the fuck expects them to set like fucking naked pictures of themselves as reference, especially with a fishnet stocking? Is it like was it like all over their body? Nah, just the fucking like like fishnet pants, and then they were like half naked. Oh, nice, delightful. They really, they really like wanted to to be there. You know, they want <laughs> they. Really put all their effort into that, huh? Uh, it was a guy, by the way. They weren't embarrassed at all by this. They were just like, no, yeah, it's normal. This guy, this guy was fucking like, yeah, look at my dick. Imagine how many people have seen that guy's fishnet pants. <laughs> just be like, hey, can you draw this for me? They're like, uh, no. It's surprising how many fucking like dicks I've seen through my career. Really? Like actual dicks from people that send it to me. Can you do you, do you have, keep track? Can you, like, can you number no. them? Do you have an album? Uh, the most significant one I've seen is fucking Matt and Ryan's dick. <laughs> you've seen their- you've seen their fucking full member? I've seen their fucking dick and hairy assholes. Have they seen your dick and hairy asshole? Yeah. Wow. 
Did you call them pork ones? Did you just like do a little Harry Potter? Guy? <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I fucking man was fucking editing, and I, I, got, I was so fucking drunk from recording, so I just fucking took out my willy and put it on his shoulder like a little parrot. Well, that's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> did you did you talk to did you talk did you talk to him like that? He fucking he fucking turned around and like yelled at me. <laughs> <laughs> is that was, was the end of the story? Was the last time you guys talked? Is that it? <laughs> is there nothing else to that? He, just said, he said, I'm, I'm really flattered, but this is not the time for that. What? <laughs> and that's the last time we ever heard from Matt, from Matt Watson himself. He died the that boy day. on death row. <laughs> He's in heaven now, as you said. Yeah, they're in heaven. He's in heaven now. <laughs> All right, guys. Let me ask you a question. You guys like the intro? You guys like that transition? That was good, right? Make it snappy, okay? I got places to be and people to be. Yeah. Okay. Fucking fine. You guys, if you, it, this is for each of us. I know we're fuck, forget, forget that we have made let's plays on this channel. Can you like talk normally? <laughs> I'm gonna fucking. <laughs> <laughs> guys. I mean, yeah, that's more like it. Yeah. If you guys were to make a let's play channel, would you? How would? How would you? How would you do it? Huh? What kind of? I got a perfect idea. Yeah. What's your idea? So. Now this is an idea. I might be stealing this from someone we know, but it's a let's play channel where you play games against uh, against someone, and whoever loses gets branded. The hot, hot steel brand. They get branded right on their forehead. It says. Bad Gamer. That's the name of the channel, Bad Gamers. And every time you get a new guest, if they lose on the podcast, they get branded right on the forehead. What if you lose? Well, uh, you get Bad Gamer. You get Bad Gamer on your forehead. And if you if you lose multiple times, you're just going to keep get branded in the same spot. I'll it get a hole seeps all the way through your skin into your skull. I get a hole in my head that says Bad Gamer. <laughs> <laughs> It's beautiful. Anyway, that's my pitch. That's my pitch. Million subscribers plaque. Here we come. Let's go. Is that all you have? That's Is that a, it? It's all we have. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Sounds violent. Don, what about you? I have an I have an idea for a fucking gaming channel. So like I would only play online multiplayer. Like yeah. Battle Royale. But instead instead of filming me, I film the people I fight against. Like, oh, I go, like I have the hidden camera in their room <laughs> oh and, and I'm just filming them as I fucking destroy them with my fucking Fortnite dance. How do you end the video? Do you like show up at their house? I fucking I fucking end it at the at like the instant they start screaming real hard. Just cuts. <laughs> yeah, just cuts. <laughs> <laughs> They're like little kids, all of them. They just fucking yell. It fucking Fortnite. cuts and it fucking like pauses the video and it like goes into like a vaporwave type music and it has the fucking title cards for the next videos beautiful <laughs> that's a good channel what would you call it i call it uh got you gotcha <laughs> it sounds really <laughs> ominous <laughs> it's like punked but like every episode they you guys you end it with like gotcha gotcha <laughs> yeah it cuts it cut screaming and it just gotcha <laughs> Andy. There's an untapped market. We we're missing out in here, and you know we uh, we we have we have bad gamer. We have gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. What's yours, Andy? Uh, mine would probably involve something with you know Minecraft. It's really you original. Know, like, That's a really untapped market right now. I know. Oh, you know, would be a cool like way to play a game for a what? channel. Like two guys sharing a controller. Sharing one controller. I feel like that's been done before. Oh fuck! I'm not original. That sounds romantic. But what if the two guys doing it naked? <laughs> it's really romantic. What if they're Siamese? What if they're Siamese twins? Get Siamese <laughs> twins to play. <laughs> That'd be great. That's a see. That's an untapped market because I mean, how many let's play Siamese twins do you know? <laughs> I don't know any. We gotta find some. Put it a ad on Craigslist. Looking for Siamese twins. <laughs> like let's play. Guys, if you're a Siamese twin, please contact us. Guys, if you were Siamese twin, at what part of the body were were you jointed at? The hip. The testicle. brain? The nut? <laughs> you have three balls. <laughs> like, you you're like both the sharing the ball. same pair of testicles. That's fucking horrible. And you're facing each other every day. 
<laughs> that's horrible. That's so bad. What if your pe- what if your wieners were fucking conjoined? Like, would you pee into each other? Yeah, that's no. There's awesome. a little like there's a little porthole that goes up and it shoots up like a blowhole, like a fucking whale. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's hor. That's disgusting. <laughs> It'd be horrible. It's just fucking like oh, I got a fucking pee. Wake up in the morning. Get a fucking like handstand. Like fucking aim it down. No, you just pee straight <laughs> up, and then when he go has to catch it in their mouth. Like, yeah, right, that's it's even gross. It's your turn to catch it this time. I kind of lost it yesterday. My own, uh, by the way, my my uh, let's play my let's play channel will probably be like Minecraft Hunger Games. But uh, if you lose, <laughs> I set a trap for you in real life, and you gotta escape your own house. Turned into saw really fucking fast. <laughs> yeah. There's there's fucking pitfalls and everything. You got saw his arm off. Yeah, and if you if you win, you get to watch Family Guy with me. <laughs> <laughs> all, all day, so you can marathon the whole series. Yeah, I could do that. Would you do that? I'm a, I do I'm that. a smart boy. I know how to dis, dis, disarm a few traps. I've seen Indiana Jones. <laughs> what do you think of Indiana Jones? I fucking love him. That's like one of my favorite movie series. Oh. You like the one with Shia yeah. LaBeouf? No. Uh. In, one, in one word, how would you describe <laughs> National Treasure? Uh, treasure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. I think on that note, I think we're fucking. I think we're fucking done here. I think. Whoa, whoa, whoa! We're Randy. done. Or we're ready. Wait a fucking second. What? You said. Are we done or are we? Ready? You wanted to give Don a quiz to wrap it up. Oh my! Wrap up this fuck. monumentous episode. I think he just wants to end it because he still hasn't found one. <laughs> I thought okay, you know what? I actually did forget about that. Shut up, guys. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let me uh let me let me find a good one here. Don, if uh let me let me ask you a series of fifteen questions, alright? You ready? Do you find yourself repeatedly say quack? Is that true or false? Uh Can I call a friend? Call a friend, that's fine. <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't say quack. I am did quack. Call, did you call a friend? No, they hung up. Okay. All right, fine. False. Next question. When you look in the mirror, do you see a duck? Is it true or false? Do you see a duck in the mirror when you when you look when you look at it? Um, I'll I'll see one if I'm holding one. <laughs> okay, so true. I sure. I'll do. It. <laughs> do you have a strange urge to search for fish? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah? Okay. Are you a duck? True or false? Kind of fuck. <laughs> Are you a duck? Answer the goddamn question. We don't no. have all day. No. No? Okay. Are you attracted to Daffy Duck? No. It's okay. It's false. We're Donald watching Duck. that episode of Bugs Bunny where they say duck season, rabbit season, no rabbit season, no duck season, fire. Do you hope that the le- that le- fucking lemur shoots the rabbit? The lemur. lemur or false? The lemur? <laughs> the human <laughs> being. Just fucking. Just fucking uh, answer the question. Uh, 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 true. You hope that you hope he shoots the rabbit? No, false. You hope he shoots the duck? Yeah. Okay. When migrating for the winter, do you travel in strange symbols in the sky with your best duck buddies? Uh, I don't move at all. So false, okay. When someone talks about the bill, do you immediately think of the one on your face? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Alright. In school, when the teacher says, write your name on the back, do you write duck? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, okay, false, alright. <laughs> do, you, do you float easily in water? <laughs> I do, just because I'm so buoyant. <laughs> all right all right hold on are you a witch no all right that's false are you made of wood i hope not no okay has anyone walked up to you on the street and said hey are you a duck uh once so true okay do you live near a pond <laughs> i how how do you define near can you walk to like, a pond? I can walk to it, yeah. Okay, so you can live near a pond. More or less. So it's true, alright. Do you have webbed feet? This is our last question. Think carefully. True or false? Um, very small. 
So true, okay. All right, uh, the test results are, you are more of a monkey than a duck. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> There's a little picture of a monkey right there for you. You can't see it. <laughs> Barry, put the picture of the monkey up. <laughs> All right, Barry, put it up. It's a fucking podcast. <laughs> Listeners on SoundCloud, put it up. <laughs> put SoundCloud up listeners, monkey. go look up monkey on Google Images. That's what it looks like right now. You guys got it. All right. <laughs> well, we figured it out, guys. We sorted it out. Don is a fucking monkey, <laughs> not a I'm dog. A dirty fucking ape. <laughs> you answered seven. You answered, you answered correctly seven out of the fifteen questions. I just want you to know that. And that makes me a monkey. <laughs> yeah, you're a fucking monkey now. <laughs> All right, guys. If you if you find that quiz online, <laughs> pin it on Pinterest, share it on WhatsApp. Give it to your mom. Give it to your mom. Her. She'll, she'll probably be fine with that. And then give her a quiz that says, "Are you is mom cheating on dad? <laughs> <laughs> Are you in a happy marriage? <laughs> do, you, do you love your does, parents? Does your child have depression? <laughs> you can give the quiz to your dad. Is dad cheating on his diet? Oh. Does he eat fucking Burger King every day? He's probably fine. Does Is your have, dad a vegan or not? Does he have diabetes? <laughs> does your dad have diabetes? Is he a diabetic? Is your dad All dying right, of colon cancer? I think my dad is. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Well, guys, I think we've uh, we've 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 tucked ourselves out. We're 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 tired. We're about to sleep. We're in bed. We're being tucked in. As we speak by my own mom, she's really sweet. She's a saint. Don't ever say anything bad about her. Well, she's in heaven. Anyways, yeah, okay, yeah, she's dead, though. It's fine. <laughs> it's her ghost is tucking us in. Her, her fucking specter, her, her <laughs> special form. She's getting yeah. upset because she can't pick up the blanket. <laughs> we have to tuck ourselves in, but it's fun. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for, for listening to this, this fucking train wreck. Thank you, Don. For, for being on this train wreck. What a lovely, and thanks to, what a lovely Yeah, okay, guys. where's my 20 bucks? You, oh, right. Uh, I, fuck, uh, hold on. I, I, next time, you know what? Next time I see you, I'll, I'll, I'll give you that 20 you bucks. You take checks? Ooh. Yeah, I take checks. All right, I'll write you a check. I give you 20 bucks Andy, worth can of I take muffins. your checkbook for a second? <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> give me 20 McMuffins next time I see you if you want. <laughs> Uh, Don, quick, lightning round. Yeah. Promote whatever things you want to promote right now. Um, uh, um, I'd like to promote my dad, my mom, God, Jesus, Allah. Don't forget Judas. And Judas. Make sure to check out Jesus and the Boys on Netflix coming soon. <laughs> 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 I'm going to pitch that. <laughs> Guys. No, but like, uh, seriously, um, check me out. Um, I'm on uh, uh, Twitter. Uh, Don Durr, Durr, R with with three R's, and you can go on my Patreon and support me and look at all my funny drawings. Guys, wow. give him a couple dollars. Give 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 Draco. Don't give Don twenty dollars. bucks, so we don't have to. <laughs> Please and thank you. And uh, if you want, we can. Uh, this could be our last podcast. You know, just leave it leave it down in the comments. Let us know. Also, don't forget to check us out on Twitter and Instagram at the Neon Carnival. If you guys like us, um, like this video, and not, if you don't, uh, report us. Please report us. Take our channel down. Send us to fucking jail. I, I dare you, pussy. You won't do it. Okay, I think we're done here. All right. Thank you. Bye. Yeah, I think we're done. All right, bye. 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 All right, see you guys later. <laughs>